Hello, reformers, and welcome back to Dying Light. Now, when we left off, we had just, well, should we say, made peace with Jade, and we had blown up a building in the shape of a rather unhappy face, and I had no idea that they were actually launching regular bombing runs. I thought that was just a, well, technically a one-off, perhaps, but nevertheless, we have made our way to the red building on the Emerald Canal, and we are now going to be, I assume, getting in the window here. Perhaps. Oh, do I have to lockpick this? Surely not. Why would she be in there? <gasps> There's a statue! Thank you very much. Nice collectible right there. That's the second one I've gotten in my playthrough, I do believe. Ah, yes. Looking for those is definitely not my forte. Okay. Well, this is a medium door, so it's going to be incredibly difficult, apparently. Ah, never mind. There we go. Okay. Am I actually going the wrong way? Is this the way? Jade! Jade! Troy, this is Crane. Rise has taken Jade. He, he has her in some museum somewhere. Do you know what he's talking about? Museum, yes. Rise is using it as his headquarters. Crane, you can't go there. That place was built as a fortress. You'd be walking into a massive trap. No, no, no. It's not subtle enough to be a trap. There's got to be a way to sneak in, right? I mean, some way to surprise him? Let me think. Uh, Tariq, maybe? He's the museum's curator. He should know something about the dungeons hidden beneath the fortress. Great. I'll talk to him. All right. There's a building with a rooftop garden. You'll find Tariq there. And listen. If you get the chance, find yourself some new weapons. You'll need them. Oh. Okay, apparently, yeah, she's giving us quite the hint there to try and find some new weapons. And as a result, there's actually a couple of you in the comments, and one of you actually sent me a private message about this. The Korak Machete. Yes, that might actually be an option for us. However, to get the blueprint for the Korak Machete, I do believe you have to head back to the slums. And I am unsure whether I want to do that right now, because as we see, we are actually... Well, hmm, we're not actually that close to the museum, but we could make our way over there very quickly instead of heading over to the slums, but, hmm, I'm actually thinking, should I purchase this iron hatchet? It's going to be pretty good, I've got to say. Oh my, this premium slaughterhouse cleaver is actually going to be a little bit better, I think, because even though the hatchet has more damage, the handling on it is not great, but it is orange, so it's going to last a lot longer, so we have 44,000 in cash, so I do believe we'll buy the iron hatchet, why not? And let's buy some gauze and buy some med kits as well. That sounds like a good plan. So, anything we can sell here? Well, we could sell the superior cricket bat, and I do believe that is it. Ah, we can sell some cigarettes as well, but yeah, not too much else. Now, the only unfortunate thing I'm seeing right now is the fact that we have literally no mods for this new weapon right here, and I would love to be able to get bolter poison but we need underwater algae so maybe we should head back to the slums because we can get some underwater algae from there i don't believe we can get it from here can we oh we can and bolter poison and it's night it's night right now so we could actually go and get some okay let's do it shall we let us do it waypoint and i'll make my way over to the bolter area hmm, this may not be the greatest idea but we'll see Okay, so I found him and killed him. Thank goodness. I was actually really worried because these are following me right here. Oh, wow. They're actually not volatiles. Okay. Phew. I actually thought they were volatiles for a second, but thank goodness. Okay, I think it is now daytime. Is it daytime? I am actually unsure about that, but 
Yep, it is. Thank goodness. Okay, so there we go. We actually did survive and get all of the ingredients. I fell in the river by mistake at one point, and what did I happen to fall right against? Well, some underwater algae, so we were able to get that very easily, and I like it. I like it a lot. So, what else can we do here? Okay, well, we have an airdrop, which is right over here, which we're definitely going to be getting. Or we're going to attempt to get it, at least, because we do have some spitters. Oh, no. And when I say some spitters, I actually mean a huge amount of them, which I'm going to have to heal from. As you can see, they do a huge amount of damage, i got to say. Oh, my goodness. And it's very difficult to avoid their attack as well, because it is such a large radius. Okay, there we are. Take that guy down as well. Oh, my. Okay. Wait, there must be another one. Yep, there is. Okay, come on. Take out this guy as well, please. Oh, my. Whoa. Okay. Phew. So, now let's just deal with these guys. If possible. Oh. <laughs> oh. Wow. Okay. Okay, thank goodness these guys are actually pretty easy to take out once you, of course, puncture the canister on their back. And there we go. Okay, so now we can loot this. Hopefully not get interrupted by any of the runners that may be coming along here. Which would not be great. Okay. No. Yes, there we go. And, of course, as soon as I try to open the thing, he interrupts us. Ah. Okay, well, at least we got it. Nice relief package right there. And now we can make our way over to the museum custodian, apparently. But, yes, first off, we do, of course, want to make the Bolter Poison mod and attach it to our newly acquired hatchet. And let's do that right now before we head any further. So, Bolter Poison, yes, thank you very much. So... Yep, Iron Hatchet. That will plus it by 56 damage. Not bad at all, if I do say so myself. And there we have it. Very nice indeed. So, let's see here. Upgrade it. Put a Titan mod on it. Shall we put a Titan mod on it? That's... Uh, it's not really the greatest thing, is it? Not really the greatest mod. Okay, well, whatever the case, I think this is going to be really quite nice. So, let's put that instead of the Punk Queen, because we've been attempting to replace that for quite some time so yes now we have the hatchet this is going to be quite nice although i really would like a handling mod so i'm going to just check out this survivor event over here oh it's this oh no okay we're gonna have to see what we can do but i'd like to take out these spitters first oh my goodness they are very annoying okay let's do it oh really he interrupted his rock throw attack to attack us oh okay there we are. Come on. Take him out. Yeah, look at that hatchet damage. And both of the survivors died. Oh, no. Oh, yeah, they did. This is one of the rebel survivors. Uh, okay, well, whatever the case, maybe we'll be able to loot them for some mods. Because I'm pretty sure they would have given us some mods if I had gotten here a little bit sooner. Ah, uh, Okay, well, whatever the case, I think what we can do... Oh, it's an airdrop. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. <laughs> I'm really surprised about all of these things. Okay, so we have a goon to fight. Ow. Yeah. That's never a good sign, especially when it's going to explode. Okay. Okay, I'd like to avoid that, if possible. Oh my goodness. Oh my. Really? The worst place ever to fight a goon in the history of anything. Oh my goodness, okay. Well, at least we're out of there now. I should really just shoot that guy, shouldn't I? I should just shoot him or something. Okay, thank goodness. We have the vault stun. That's always the way to go. Okay, so, guns it is. Oh, there's actually someone else coming. Ugh. What? Oh, wow. Okay, it actually hit us from up here because of the shockwave. Okay, we need to be a little bit careful about that, I do believe. So, let's see.
Okay, thank goodness. Really didn't want to fight it in that close quarter situation. Okay, I'm just wasting a lot of ammunition right now because I'm a little bit irritated with that guy, I gotta say. So, let's just take out these guys. Pretty simply, hopefully... Whoa, 500 bucks from that. That's pretty nice. Okay, so, thank goodness, another airdrop. There we go. Not too bad, if I do say so myself. Now, I'm hopeful that we will be able to level up from this. Okay, so we've made it back to the Quartermaster, and we will now be delivering the drop. And how much are we going to get? 13,000. Not bad at all. And we can pick up a couple more pieces of loot right there. And then what we will be doing is checking out the store, because you can never have as many good weapons as you would otherwise like. And, of course, we do want to get some more gores and medkits as well. Because you never know when you may need those. I do need to make a couple more of those too. So let's see. Sell these. That is fine. Ooh, look at that. Wow, we can sell all of these valuables for 2500 Very nice indeed. And I suppose now we will be making our way to find the Museum Custodian. Okay, so we have made it to the potential museum custodian area, and it does appear to be a safe zone as well. So let's open it up and see who we Tariq, can find. What do you want? We don't have anything here but a few scraps of food. Well, relax. Troy sent me. Troy? Oh, thank God. I've been a nervous wreck since I found this kid. He's got nobody to look out for him. But I'm not so good with kids, you know. That's not why I'm here. But... Troy promised she'd send someone. I need to get into the museum. The museum? But Troy told me someone would come to help. She promised- Okay, Tariq. You tell me how to get into the museum, and maybe I can sort out your problem here, okay? Rise controls the museum. He would kill you on sight. Well, then I can't have him see me. Now, Troy said you used to be the curator, and that if anybody would know a way in, it'd be you. So, how do I do it? <laughs> do you have scuba gear, perhaps? No. Too bad. There's an entrance under the surface of Emerald Pond, but it would be a long swim under the water. You would most likely drown. It will most likely isn't definitely, so... I guess I'll give it a try. Aha. Uh -huh. Thank you very much for the potentially dangerous and fatal plan that I appear to be doing right now. That's going to be rather interesting. Okay, well, first off, we want to talk to the trade person. Yes, we want to take a look here. I'm going to buy this and hmm, not as good. Okay, we need some gores and I would like some alcohol, believe it or not. I would like some alcohol because I actually do not have any more. I used all of it to create all of my med kits that I currently have right now. So I have 45. That's not too bad. Now let's see. Find the underwater entrance, which is <laughs> oh, okay, quite far away, it appears. Okay, we have made it over to the museum underwater entrance, and I am actually a little bit worried about this. But, should be possible. But where is it? Is it right underneath here? Oh my goodness, I think we need to... Okay, there it is, okay. I think we need to be pretty high up in terms of our breath meter. Well, our breath meter doesn't technically exist, but you know what I mean. Okay, let's see. Let's do it. Okay, come on. We can make this. We can make this. What if it was hilariously easy and we didn't actually have any problems whatsoever with our breath at all? It doesn't appear as though that is the case, however, because, yeah, we are now starting to run out of air. Oh. Oh. Right. Okay, that actually seems pretty easy then. Okay. I was a little bit worried. More worried than perhaps I should have been. So, yeah. I guess that's okay. Hmm. Ah, this way. Of course. Okay. So, yeah, that was it. Wow, that was actually pretty nice. And we are now inside, and we have not come across any zombies yet, or Rice's men either. So, 
Oh my, Rice is garrison. Okay, let's do it, shall we? Head inside. Jade's being held hostage at the museum. The choice is the place was originally built as a fortress, and now it's Rice's biggest outpost in Sector Zero. I gotta get in there before Jade gets hurt. Killed or worse. Okay, let's do this. We have found a way into the museum. Have we not? Have we not found a way into the museum just yet? Okay, apparently not. We're still in the underwater tunnels. Oh, this might actually be a little more difficult. Oh my goodness. Okay. Oh, okay. We're fine. Do we have a way to go to the top? It appears not, so I'll have to swim through all of this, which is going to be quite tricky. Yep. There is no breathing area at the top here, so this is going to be... Oh my. Oh, thank goodness. I thought I'd missed an opening, and I was just going to be... Oh my. Yeah, we're getting close. I was going to be so dead. Okay. Okay, I think I made it. Aha, okay. Mm -hmm. I was panicking a little bit there. But we're still fine. We're swimming through a lot of dead bodies right here. And there's actually fish down here. I can't believe that. Okay. I think we should be fine now. Everything seems quite straightforward. Does it not? Oh my. No, maybe not. Maybe not. Oh. This is not good. If I make one wrong turn, I may as well just say goodbye. No, this is the way. Okay. Oh my. Oh no, 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 no. Come on. You gotta make it. You gotta make it. What if I... Wait a minute. If I run out of breath, do I die instantly? Come on. You gotta make it. Oh. We made it. Oh my goodness. Whoa, okay. That was pretty devastating. Oh my God. My lungs. Exactly. I thought exactly the same thing. I was there right with you. Oh my goodness. Ah, okay. We're fine. We're actually doing quite nicely right here. No, not again. Apart from that, of course. Careful. Don't fall. Troy. I hear you. I'm in. That was the easiest part of this. You realize that, right? You really suck at pep talks, Troy. Not my job. But good luck. You are exhausted. You cannot use grappling hook. Are we serious about that? That is going to make your life so much easier. Okay, apparently not. So. Yeah, we can just do this. The old-fashioned way. Okay. Things don't seem too difficult so far. Oh, oh, whoa, 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 whoa. Careful. <laughs> okay, so we can... Jump it? I think we could jump it. Okay, well, that's fine. Okay, wait a minute. I'm a little bit blurry at the moment. What is he? Oh. It's quiet. I heard something. Oh my. What am I going to do about this? Do I kill these guys with my rifle or do I just go down there? Holy shit. <laughs> okay. So, yeah, it appears as though I may just have to kill these guys with my military rifle. Shall we do it? Was that it? Okay, I thought they would actually call for reinforcements, but apparently not. So, yeah, that was easy enough to deal with. No problem there. We can hopefully pick up, yes, yeah, some rifle ammo. There we go. Thank you. And we'll take their rifles as well. Okay. So far, so good. We meet again. The last time we met, you took something of mine. 
Now, I took something of yours. I don't negotiate with assholes, Rice. I get out of here with Jade, or I take your other hand, too. Your choice! You cannot simply demand to have her crane. You must make a showing of effort first. Attack! Move it, boys. Move it. Go, go, go! <sighs> no, oh, my. Okay, and it appears as though our minimap is not working, and you know how I rely on the minimap, so... Here's a present for you. Oh, grenade. Okay, now they are showing on the minimap. That's nice. So, let's do it. Oh, let's not do it. I went to the wrong... <laughs> I went to the wrong pillar by the looks of things. Okay. Okay. That's fine. That is no problem. Okay. Medkits, medkits everywhere. And a lot of bullets to drink. Oh my goodness. Is that the best you got, Rise? I can do this all fucking day! Well, I can do it for another 41 medkits. <laughs> I guess. Oh my. Okay. Wait a minute. Where is this fellow? He's up there, is he not? You are exhausted. You cannot use the grappling hook. Still cannot use it. Okay. It appears we'll have to resort to less civilized means. Ah. Okay. I see. We're supposed to jump up here, are we not? Nope. Nope. We're not supposed to jump up there. Not when there are so many units shooting at us. Okay, we have one over here. Okay, shooting through the glass is actually quite effective by the looks of things. That's good. That is very, very good. Okay. Other than that, I think we can just jump up here. What? Did he just kill himself? I have no idea what just happened there because I got up and he was already dead. She's so lonely without you. She's waiting for you. Come and get you. Hmm. I am attempting to do so, Rise, and I will take your other hand. Oh, yes. Well, maybe I'll do more than that. <laughs> okay, wait a second. We need to play this a little bit more tactically, I do believe. Should we use our firecrackers? Okay. I really wish there was alternate paths. This is going to be quite tricky. Or not. I actually... Did I seriously get killed by the... Oh, I got killed by the fire extinguisher! Oh, wow. Okay, we survived all of those bullets and then get killed by a fire extinguisher that's supposed to save lives. No. Oh, just my luck. Okay, can I not get past there? No, apparently not. Okay. Well, yeah, it's easy enough to get back up there, so I suppose I really shouldn't be worrying too much. But still, that is... Ah, uh, yeah. That's just like me, is it not? Yes, just like me to puncture one of those fire extinguishers. This is the thing that killed me. Ah, okay. Well, let's raise this up with a lot of Fs. No, no, we're not using F. Okay, thank goodness. He doesn't need my F power this time. Find her, Craig. Come on. She won't wait for you forever. 